Then we were told children are not affected by COVID virus. Great, sigh of relief. Uh, less than uh, 1% of New Yorkers who were hospitalized under 20 years old. Now we're finding out that may not be 100% accurate either because now we're seeing cases that the Department of Health is investigating and New York is in many ways uh, the, the tip of the arrow here, looking at 102 cases where children who may have been infected with the COVID virus show symptoms of an inflammatory disease like the Kawasaki disease or toxic shock-like syndrome. Uh, we have lost three children in New York because of this. Five-year-old boy, seven-year-old boy, and an 18-year-old girl. And these cases uh, are all across the state, uh, predominantly uh, where the population is. 60% of these children tested positive for the COVID virus. 40% tested positive for the antibodies of the COVID virus, okay? That means children either currently had the virus or could have had it several weeks ago and now have the antibodies saying that they had the virus and they recovered from the virus. 70% of the cases went into ICU, which means they're serious. When you're going to intensive care, it means it's serious. 19% resulted in intubation, which means they're very serious. 43% of the cases are still hospitalized. Uh, on the age, when they say children, it's across the board. It can be under one year old, it can be up to 20, 21 year old, uh, majority between five years old and 14 years old. It affects uh, children of all races. Uh, and it's not just in New York. Uh, the Department of Health sent an alert to 49 other states. Dr. Zucker has been leading this conversation nationwide. 14 other states are now investigating cases in their state for possible uh, uh, inflammatory disease for children related to COVID. Five European countries are now looking at this. Because it happened, uh, after the fact and does not present as a normal COVID case, it may not have been initially diagnosed as a COVID case. COVID cases are normally respiratory. Uh, this is not predominantly respiratory. It's an inflammation of the blood vessels which could affect the heart. So it's more of a cardiac case than a respiratory case, which is a new manifestation of the COVID uh, virus. Department of Health is being very aggressive in doing the investigation and also talking to other states, countries about what they may have learned, uh, partnering with Rockefeller University and the New York Genome Center to see if there's anything in the DNA of these cases. But uh, parents uh, have to be aware of this. Uh, the predominant signs, fever, uh, abdominal pain, skin rash, uh, other symptoms, um, change in skin color, difficulty feeding, trouble breathing, racing heart, lethargy, irritability, or confusion. So it's a wide array of symptoms, as you can see, which makes it even harder for a, a parent uh, to know exactly what they're dealing with. If your child has been exposed to someone who had COVID, even if it was several weeks ago, uh, that is a special alert in this situation. Uh, Department of Health has told the hospitals in the state to prioritize COVID testing for children who come in with any of these uh, situations. Uh, and if you want more information, uh, this is the health site to go to. Now, as a parent, I can tell you, this is a parent's worst nightmare, right? Uh, to have a child, we thought that children were not especially affected by the virus. 
uh, to now find out that they might be, and it might be several weeks later, this is uh, truly disturbing. So uh, we raise it because it's something that parents should be aware of. Uh, we're still finding out more about it. We're working very aggressively. The more we know, the more we'll communicate. Uh, for now, everything we know is on that website, but uh, if parents say, you know, should I be concerned? You should be aware. You should be aware. Uh, 